This is a Caterpillar radiator fan. The radiator fan is actually leaking. It's a hydraulically powered fan. It's gonna be a big pain in the butt to fix, so if you don't have a couple hours, then I wouldn't suggest starting this process. But so far, all I've done is remove this first small hydraulic line, started uh, taking the big one off, and I wanted to go ahead and give you all a quick video on this. Basically, what's happened is on the seal, let me show you all. This is the replacement. Right within there, we have a leak. We've sprung a leak inside of the motor itself. And we actually have to replace all of these different fittings have to be refitted back into it in order to um, replace just the motor itself that doesn't come with all the fittings and everything. So it's going to be a fun process. So we removed the hose here and the large hose in the back, unfastened this wiring harness. And then now it's to the point where we have to actually take off this fan shroud in order to get to this one by simply removing the fan blades and then we'll remove the shroud altogether off of the motor and the motor will be separate from everything else. Now that the fan is removed from the radiator itself, it was just those four bolts. We're gonna take this one bolt out right here in the center of the shaft, which will remove the entire fan and all of the fasteners that hold it together. And that is not counter screwed on. That is a traditional righty tighty lefty loosey. So just turn it left while holding the fan in place and that should come right off of there let's pull this fan off all right give me a second here now that that is removed we'll just have to flip this back over right side up and unbolt the remaining bolts to remove the shroud you can remove this actuator with a one inch socket once this bolt's removed it allows us to slide off so take a 32 millimeter and break this free. This one is a pain in the butt. 32 millimeter. You can then take a 30 millimeter and break this hydraulic line off. And also a 30 millimeter will break this side of the pump too. A 27 millimeter will help you break this out. Now that this is free, you can actually get a little more maneuverability out of everything. 27 millimeter. We can go ahead and insert that into the new pump just like so take your 5 8 inch socket and you go ahead and remove this part off of that put it on the new pump and then now to slide it over you want a deep well socket so you can get it on there slide it on nice and deep and then you'll just take a ratchet and unscrew that and fasten it to the new pump put your protective cap back on put these two damn and you're touching your phone too you're a bossy guy bro I'm making a video over here Putting these two fittings back in. Oh, 